15 year old girls and I say this is someone who used to be a 15 year old girl and has also you know, spoken to lots of 15 year old girls who've really learned this the hard way they don't know they don't know these realities about you know the fact that like men have double the upper body strength that women do on average which means they can punch twice as hard as women can on average you know things like that I think that we I think we should be more honest with these young women and that was my motivation for writing the book and also why I ended up partly as a consequence of working in rape crisis ended up moving politically and becoming more skeptical of a lot of sort of um dominant political ideas the younger generation of women don't realize men are twice as stronger because they keep being told lies from feminists of course deluded fools cheers why you want to get so hasty. Because I give everything you give You nothing. don't give me everything. What are you talking about? Everything? You think? No. You don't give me everything. Are we breaking up right now? Yeah. We're breaking up? Yeah. Oh. Because I won't give you sugar. We're breaking up. Oh. The breakup has occurred. Thank you again. We're broken up. He tried to recruit a sugar baby without getting the sugar. He allowed her to manipulate him for money. He deserves the embarrassment. It's just dumb. Why can I still not remember my left and right? Like, I remember when I first learned what left and right was. Like, I do like this and this, like, whatever. And I was like, oh, it might just take a little while to, like, remember. But, like, I, sh I will know without having to do this. I'm 23 years old. This is probably, like, 15 years old. And I still don't know my left and right. So, mum just said, which way is the pool? And I was like, uh, left? <laughs> it's embarrassing. When do I, don't think I don't think I'm going to learn. That's it. I'm not learning. These are the women guys simp over. Women who don't know the difference between their left and right. Really sad. When I show up to a date, it is not my job to determine if I meet the standards of the man I'm on the date with. It is not my job to determine what he is looking for in a relationship. It is not my job to try and decide if I bring to the table everything he's looking for. That is not my job. When I go on a date, my job is to determine if the man I'm on the date with lives up to my standards, it is my job to determine if I like him. What he thinks of me is completely irrelevant. This is true in any relationship. We are not making new friends inquiring what they bring to the table. Relationships are not transactional. Relationships are built on getting to know one another, seeing if values align, seeing if lifestyles align, seeing if goals align. It is not about what each person can get. I know this is a novel idea for some of you that relationships aren't transactional because I get this comment thousands upon thousands of times on most of my videos at once and I'll say it again. The only people who are curious what others can do for them and look at relationships as transactional have no clue what your own standards are. Just worried about what you can get. You have no clue what your values are, where you stand as a person, other than what you can gain from a relationship with somebody, which most people who have high standards and high values and integrity are instead focused on building relationships upon trust, heart, getting to know each other, matching lifestyles, similar values, like and follow for more. If she doesn't care about what he wants, why should he bother to date her in the first place? And whether if she likes it or not, when people date, they're always subconsciously asking themselves, what do they bring to the table? If she wants a man who is rich, successful, confident, etc., that is what he brings to the table, 
and that is what she is looking for. So she contradicted herself. She's an idiot.